street artist. Compared to Britain's Banksy, whose graffiti stencils can sell for hundreds of thousands of pounds, the Russians' guerrilla artworks range from intricate spray paintings to complex combinations of fire, music, and video. And like Banksy, he refuses to reveal his true identity. But the man who calls himself Pavel 183 did agree to meet with our Moscow correspondent, Daniel Sanford. <laughs> Aggressive, defiant, surprising, and invariably witty, the work of the Moscow street artist Pavel 183. Occasionally political, his work is part graffiti, part installation, and he's starting to be compared with the millionaire British street artist Banksy. Like Banksy, he chooses to remain anonymous but agreed to take us across rarely used railway tracks to one of his illegal outdoor galleries. This is a time of protest and discontent in Russia, something his art seems to capture. So I asked if he saw his work as political. My work often addresses politics, but for me, society is more important. All the same, politics is a burning issue. I don't like a lot of things in Russian politics, in the politics of Putin. One of his latest works, White Stitches, painted on the road, addressed directly last December's elections, which many in Moscow felt were blatantly stitched up. He often works with what he finds, filming himself as he goes, in this case using abandoned concrete slabs to create giant versions of one of Russia's favourite chocolate bars. Pavel 183's art is very simple, very accessible, but when you start to think about it, it is really very beautiful, and it has its own unique atmosphere. He told me he is aware of Banksy's work, but finds it strange to be compared with a rich celebrity artist living at the other end of Europe. Daniel Sanford, BBC News, Moscow. <laughs> There's more on the BBC News channel, including a first look at tomorrow's front pages, but that's it from us. We can now join.